Dr. Hissel, one of the most critical issues was the validity of your research. Good morning. There are still some points. I'm not sure if I got them right. Tell me. In the sections Research Instrument and Instrument Validation, scientific validity was grounded on a universal ethics, which could give orientation for action within situations of conflict using Schweizer's reverence for life as an analytical framework for deontology. Credibility would seem to be a more appropriate term to use here. You use the term validity again in the following sentence. Central to all of their pragmatic and interactional approaches was the challenge to achieve scientific validity. Again, credibility is the more acceptable term in qualitative research. But, actually, I mean validity. We have to be careful not to misconceive the concepts we speak about. Credibility, as you mentioned, belongs to hermeneutics and many other qualitative research methodologies. Validity rather belonged to quantitative methodologies. Now, I am approaching this research with a non-representational research approach, which combines quantitative and qualitative methods within a performative inquiry. Non-representational inquiries are validated by the re-enactment, neither credible nor valid. Secondly, Albert Schweitzer's method establishes clear criteria for nation stories, and in theory also nations, to be ethical. However, in these two sentences, I refer clearly to quantifiable data as part of this approach. There are two kinds of them. First, there are the quantitative data related to the background information, statistics and similar. This includes also the in vivo coding of texts, the semantics, dates and names. They are either there or not. That is not a question of opinion. This is why these data can also be collected through an automized process. In fact, there was a quantitative part, the hermeneutics of text, through which different strategies of the historical authors regarding impression management, noetic tension and encounter with others were analyzed. This part could not be objectively validated. For this reason, it had to be negotiated, but the tool Spindle made this negotiation process objectively available and traceable, which again improved scientific validity. Also for the overall reenactment of the story writing process within a community, an objective validation was proposed. Schweitzer's universals of reverence for life. According this, besides all the possible cultural differences, there were four criteria which any story and ergo any society had to fulfill in order to be considered ethical. First, does it improve your own life? Second, does it improve the other's life, any concrete discourse partner? Third, is it realistically affirming the material context of the relationship we and the world? And fourth, is it oriented towards the ideal in the sense that it co could become a universal standard? Thank you. Let's conclude here. Thank you very much. See you next time.